Today we're going to be talking about Drive Technology Configurator from Siemens. So with this tool, we can access it right here in the iMall from Siemens. Just go under Drive Technology, and then we can click on Configurators, and it'll hit Start, and it'll allow us to start configuring drives right here in our web browser. All right, so once you click on it and it loads, you can see you've got a couple of different types of products you can do. You can actually do motors, converters, or other components here. And the great thing about this is it's gonna be able to save all of your past projects as well as help you pick a lot of the cool accessories and options available for those drives. So for us, we're gonna work on a 50 horsepower, 460 volt motor. So we're gonna pick a converter here. And then you can see you got a couple of different options. You've got low voltage converters and different kinds of performance categories. You've got DC, medium voltage. But one nice feature, if you don't know exactly what kind of drive you want, they have this guided converter selection. So we're gonna select that one. All right, so now you can kind of see you've got a drop down for different types of applications. If you know you want like a processing or moving or pumping drive. So we're gonna do a, a 50 horsepower pump. Now you can enter in your kilowatts or your horsepower. So we said we're gonna do 50. So instead of entering a range, we're just gonna type in 50 here. We know that we said we wanted to do 460 volt. And let's go ahead and select Profinet Ethernet IP communication. And so you can kind of see right here some of the different options that you've selected. And then as you scroll down, it's gonna give you some of the different drives that will work for that category. The more options you select, the less amount of drives obviously you're gonna have down here. One of the nice things about this screen, it's gonna give you some of the information snapshots from all those drives, just so you can kind of get a feel for what they do. So for us, you know, we've got the X, we've got the G120, and we've got the G120C. We're gonna select the G120, but if you were to click right here on the name, that's gonna pop up a new window and give you the uh, landing page for that drive. But we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit configure right here. All right, so now that that screen's up, what we're gonna see here is a whole lot of different options that we can select. The most important thing to pay attention to right here is the orange fields. Orange fields are things that are required to be filled out. So we're gonna go ahead and select, we know three phase, we know we want 460 volt, and let's say we're 60 hertz here in the United States. For our communication, let's go ahead and select that Profinet Ethernet right there. And then you'll notice the tab kind of goes to the next selection that's orange. So here it's asking for kilowatt. You can actually go to the next field, even though it's white, not orange, and we can type in our 50 horsepower and that's gonna take care of that section for us. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want low overload or high overload? And remember, we're dealing with a pump. So if you don't know the difference between the two, it has to do with the amount of overload and for how long the drive can sustain. But if you go over the I right here, it'll give you kind of a, a information. So low overload is 150%. It's more dealing with pumps and fans, whereas the high overload is gonna be 200% for three seconds, and it's more geared for conveyors, uh, worm pumps, things like that, where you need a lot of torque to get going. So for ours, we're gonna pick low overload and you'll see it fills in those current values. Uh, next thing, we're gonna select generator operation, whether we wanna be able to put energy back in the line supply, whether we want an optional braking resistor, we'll select break, optional braking resistor. Now we need to select whether we want filtered or unfiltered. Unfiltered is gonna be the most common here in the United States. Last but not least, we need to say what kind of control unit we want. So the most common one is gonna be the CU240E-2. So we'll select that. Now you'll see a configuration is complete. We can order this product, we're good to go. But then you also have a note here that the braking resistor recommended was added in the select accessory tab. Once we go over here in the accessory tab, we can kind of see we can order a memory card with this unit. We can either have it empty or we can have the firmware preloaded on the memory card, which is a great option to have if you need to make replacements down the, the road with different power modules or things like that. You already have the firmware in there. One of the big things here to select would be our operator panel. We can do our intelligent operator panel with the color display, or we can do our two-line basic operator panel. Let's select IOP. And then we also have the option of selecting a smart access module and many other things that will be designed for this drive, like the UL kit, like a brake relay, things like that. Another thing we can select, we can select different circuit brakes or fuses for protection on the drive, as well as this brake resistor for this particular size drive has already been selected. If we don't need the brake resistor, we we'll just need to uncheck it. Now we'll see we have that green checkbox, configuration is complete, you can now order this project. So we're going to hit add product right here at the bottom, and it's going to go into that cart. And now you'll see also, you have this documents tab. If you click on it, you can get different documents for this drive. So we can get things like the data sheet, the cut sheet for the drive. We can get our dimensioning drawn if we're trying to plan a cabinet or enclosure. If we hit continue to product list, it's gonna take us into this cart that we have that if we've got multiple different drives that have been configured, they're all gonna be here in this cart in one nice easy place for you to, be able to check out and get what you need. So here is this drive that we selected. You can kind of hit this drop down arrow and you can see all the different parts that make up this drive with our control unit, 
our power module, and our operator panel, and you can pull data sheets on everything, or you can delete the whole thing out of your list. And that wraps it up for the DT configurator. Thanks.